hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day. The beginning of a wonderful, wonderful life for two new rescues that we took in. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Shannon. Good morning, Cassandra. I know. Good morning, Nina. New Hampshire in the house. Good morning, everybody. Blackie. Hi, Lynn. I just came over to check in and I figured I would go live, do a little update for everybody. This is ridiculous. So everybody was asking on the last video from yesterday, what's wrong with her? Where's her hair? Guys, this is from pure neglect. This is neglect. So we're gonna figure out what it is. I'm sure it's something that can be easily taken care of. We are going to make an appointment with our dermatologist that we love and adore, Dr. Ursula in Wellington. She's phenomenal. So I'm sure she can figure this out. Um, Erica is about maybe four, five pounds maybe five to seven years of age tops. Um, absolute an angel, not a peep out of her. She slept the whole night with the Muppets in the room on her bed. We put her in the room with uh, Poppy and Blackie and Little Snow and she did phenomenal with them. They're very smitten. <laughs> the boys love and Snow's in there. The boys love the little girls. So we thought it was perfect. And Lady had her own space and her own big round pen in the living room by the TV. And she slept straight through the night, not a peep. They had all eaten, had their breakfast, came outside, did their business. Where's Erica? Erica! Erica! Hi, Lady! Hi, Mama! Oh, she's over. She's exploring the yard. Two beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lives saved yesterday. Um, Erica was from Miami Dade, the little Yorkie. She's tiny. You can look at her. This video does no justice. But she was saved from the Miami Dade shelter yesterday. And Lady was from Broward. <laughs> Good morning. They did amazing overnight. Shelly said they the house was so quiet, so peaceful. It was perfect perfect they're probably so happy to just be out of the shelter the shelter is i don't know if you have visited shelters but let me tell you it is so stressful on them not to mention us um so yeah to be in a nice comfy bed uh the stray hold is for three days it's 72 hours 72 hours so um lady is on a stray hold they wanted her out of the shelter she's hot worm positive she's been used for breeding totally neglect probably living outside for sure so everyone's great um it is a little wet <laughs> we've been getting a lot a lot a lot of rain all night thunderstorms good morning debbie riley good morning it's been raining on and off. Uh, the humidity has dissipated a bit, so thank God for that. I don't feel like I'm in a swamp when I open my door. It's a tiny bit better. Oh my God. She's beyond tiny. The video does no justice, Anna. Um, they said she was five pounds. I think she's more like 
three to five, three to four. She's so, so tiny. Sam's doing great. They're, everybody's doing great. I cannot complain. I know, Pamela. Oh, I can't wait for the cooler air, honestly. I'm so, so, I will, Cassandra. I'll send you love for sure. I can't wait for the cooler air and for the summer to be gone. It's just enough already. She is available. Little Erica, the Yorkie, is available. And let me tell you, I had a dream last night I took her home. <laughs> Which is, but that is not happening. That is not, not, not happening. So um, she is available. And we'll get this, it's nothing, get her skin under control. But uh, she's just a dream, an absolute dream. I don't understand how people do what they do either, but it's getting worse and worse and worse, I'm telling you. I mean, I have been on, when I'm not active here, <clears throat> on social media, on Facebook, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes on a daily basis that I just don't share with all of you. I was on a call with a police officer in Miami the other day. Dog was hit by a car outside of PetSmart, um, and then they weren't even sure if she was going to make it. Uh, got the ID number, checked it out, and then later found out yesterday after she was posted at the Miami-Dade shelter that she was reunited with owners. So that's phenomenal. I pray to God that they have the funds to care for her because she's going to need surgery. Adorable little thing. Um, so that was that. Then I got a call from somebody from Hollywood about they need to surrender their golden lab mix. And after having a conversation, um, it was very clear to me that everything they were telling me, um, the dog was basically living, out, it lives outside 24 seven its whole life and is in a cage at night outside. And they wanna know why the dog is acting out. <laughs> so I'm trying desperately to get that dog. I'm waiting for photos and videos, which they have not sent me yet since yesterday. So I'm gonna reach out to some partners, some rescues that are breed specific and see if I can get some help for that poor dog. It just kills me. It kills me, the torture. And uh, these people don't even think. They just don't think. You know, they use dogs for breeding. Uh, they're like just left outside 24 seven in all these elements of weather. Um, and they wanna know why their dog is acting out. Come on people, seriously. These are your children. They're, they're your child. They should be treated as so. Look, Poppy right here and Blackie um, and Snow were surrendered to us well over a year ago from one owner. And we've had them with us. You know, they're bonded. Uh, we just got little Erica yesterday. I saw her little face and I sent in our rescue hold after the shelter sends out their pleas for help through the rescue community that are partnered with them. and. They responded and said, you can come pick her up. So thankfully, Carol was able to do so. I could not leave yesterday. I had too much going on. So um, Carol was so kind, as always. Anything to save a life, you know? And Shelly and Keith could not leave. They're here tending to all the babes, a house full. So thank you, Carol and Debbie, for running to not only to Broward, but also Miami, which it's like two hours from Palm Beach with traffic um, each way. So it's a lot, but um, yeah, it's a whole day affair. It takes up your whole day. They left at like 11, 30, 12 and didn't get back until late yesterday between the two shelters. And it's very stressful, very stressful. But they were angels in the car. I was getting updates all along the way um, from Carol and her sister with photos of them, you know, just so happy to be out in their laps, on the beds. I know everybody says that the pigtails, she has the fountain airs from like the little Yorkie fountain airs. Erica, Erica. And she knows her name. She knows her name because she had a microchip. So she had an owner. She had an owner that did not come forward. Erica. Come, 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 mama.
That's such a good girl, Mommy. Yes, you're so pretty. Thank you so much, Debbie, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Because we have a lot of medical with these two. I can tell you that. For sure. You just, you know, we never know what we're walking into when we do rescue these dogs from shelters, the streets. Um, we just don't know. And then once we get them, then we find out later. And so that's why we ask for donations as a 501c3. Um, exactly, Georgia, we are their voice. Bye, Pamela. Have a safe, safe trip, my friend. Be careful. She's very confused. She's very confused. But, you know, they all are when they come to us. So it just takes them time to decompress and realize that they're okay. Look at this. Look at the two of them. They're safe. They're safe. But I can tell you, this is a diamond in the rough right here, you know? We've had so many that come in like this. And then when their hair starts growing in and they become these beautiful little flowers, um, it's like everybody wants them. So I'm telling you that this baby girl right here is one in a billion. She's perfection. Thank you, Georgia. Thank you. Yes, guys, we do have a donate button on this video. And I'm asking everybody to please find it in your hearts to make a small donation. Um, we really, really, really need your help to cover all the medical for all these babies that we have in our ongoing mission, all of our overhead to keep this mission going. Um, and donations are down. So we really could help use your help and your assistance. Erica is probably about five. Her eyes are really crystal clear um, between five and seven, which is perfect because these little babies can live to be 18 and up, you know, so she's perfect age. This is my type of baby that are just super, super sweet, easy. Come on, Erica. Come on, you wanna come in? You wanna come in and play? <laughs> Lady loves her toys. Good girl. Good girl. Yay! Good girl. <laughs> Come on, you can go play. Do you want to go and play too? Oh, thanks, Dad. You want to go play too, Erica? Come on. Yeah. It's okay. It's coming. Oh, it's okay. Oh, look, look, look. Lady has the baby. You want a baby, Erica? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Go get. Go get. Erica. Yes, it is a party pad. <laughs> you got that right, Cindy. <laughs> Sonic is mama. That's a party pad in there. It certainly is. It certainly is a party pad. It's the best room. It's because it's like, it's, it has the slider. This was Balto's room. We put the slider in for Balto. It actually was before a window. There's snow in his bed. <laughs> we like to toys. So I just wanted to jump on really quick and do a little morning update. <laughs> Wee! She she seems fascinated. I love her prance. Hello. Hello, my baby girl. I know her eyes look so sad. We're going to fix that. We're going to make those happy, happy eyes. Yes, we are. Happy. There you go. We're going to make happy eyes. Look at this face, guys. While Shelly's holding her, I can really get in. Hi, Erica. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Camera shy. I know, she's shy. 
She's itty, 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 bitty. Five pounds or less. We haven't weighed her, but they said five. Look at her ears. <laughs> We're gonna fix your eyes and make you happy again, mommy. We're gonna bring the love and light back into those beautiful, sweet eyes, yeah. I know, honey, it's okay. I know you're so pretty. She's scared. I know, Mama. Yeah, we help scared. her, right? We're going to help her feel better. Yes. She's scared. She's scared. She's scared more, Mama. Oh, heavy on the heart, right, guys? Heavy, heavy heart. Always heavy heart. Okay. Oh, Barbara, you should keep her. <laughs> Amy, this girl over here is not keeping anybody. I've got my hands full. No, 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 no. That's not happening. We're going to find Erica the best, best, best home where she's going to be absolutely spoiled and adored and loved as she deserves to be. So if anybody's interested in offering Erica, a little Yorkie, about five-ish pounds, um, and we're going to get her skin under control, make an appointment. She's absolutely pure, pure, like a little angel baby. She really is. Let's get this girl. There's no reason she should be here. There isn't. She needs to be in a bed, in a home, being loved and adored. Um, we will be going through applications and emails and anybody that's interested to find the best fit. And if you have another dog, sweet, submissive, um, low maintenance, uh, low energy would be the best fit for her, for sure. Not one that's going to jump on her. Uh, they tell us, right? We do the meet and greets and then uh, they tell us. Exactly, Nissa. Only good things are coming. Only the best. No, she's not in any pain. None whatsoever. Mm -mm. What? What? Hold on. Oh, we got a playful little spunky girl. Get it. Get it, lay. Get it, lay, lay. Get it, lady. Get it. That's not. Oh, she's playful. Can't. What's today, Wednesday? Yeah. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, medical baths, we don't like to start them on anything that is too strong for their skin without seeing a you know, professional. Uh, we don't wanna do anything that could hurt her skin. Um, because we don't know what it is, what's causing it. So we always wait, like a, an oatmeal bath, but I wouldn't do anything medicated for Erica until we have her seen by our dermatologist and then she can tell us what's best. We have found that with dogs with skin, like, you know, irritation or whatever, if we use a <clears throat> medicated bath, sometimes it burns the skin and it irritates. So we want to do everything right. So I'm going to be making a call today to get her in um, hopefully sooner than later, but she's not in any pain or any discomfort. She's eating like a champ and she's an angel. She's a sweet little baby angel. That's all she is. So guys consider opening up your heart and home to Erica. If you're local, we are in Loxahatchee, Florida, and she could really use a new mommy or daddy. She's very special. Trust me when I tell you. Whoever gets her is going to be very, 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 very lucky, right, Erica? It's very, 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 you're going to, whoever gets you is going to be very, very lucky. Yeah. Yeah, they are, Erica. Yeah. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We'll be back later. Hey, say bye, everybody. Please donate to our ongoing mission. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.